Welcome back to today's workout. I'm David Denver. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We have three rounds of these two exercises. We'll start with body weight squats. 15 reps. Get those legs activated. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Big breath out as you go up. two-legged version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to strong. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome. 15 reps there. Let's go ahead and get started into round two. 15 reps. Get those legs activated. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Big breath out as you go up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. And then we'll move right to glute bridges. This is the two legged version. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to strong. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome. 15 reps there. Let's go ahead and get started into round 15 reps. Get those legs activated. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Big breath out as you go up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. And then we'll move right to glute bridges. This is the two legged version. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to strong. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome. 15 reps there. Awesome job. We'll go ahead and consider that as part of our dynamic warm up as well. We should have most of our lower body activated and warmed up. So let's just jump right into today's circuit training. We're gonna begin with drop step lunges, 12 each leg. You can add that knee drive in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got it, you got it, you got it. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. That's one side. Opposite arm forward. And as always, here's your modification. Just come right back up to neutral. And 10, 11, and 12. Nice job. We're gonna alternate between lower body and core. So in the low plank position, raise the alternate leg, 12 each side, four, four, keeping your back parallel to the ground, seven, seven, eight, eight, don't raise your hips up into the sky, 10, 10, 11, 11, finish strong, and 12. Nice shot. This next exercise is brand new. We've never done this before. Or we've done a version of this before. So balancing on one leg, you're going to slowly tap the opposite leg straight out to the side. It's a quarter squat. 
working on balance, ankle, knee, hip mobility, seven, eight, nine, and quad activation, 11 and 12. I get even a glute burn and a hamstring burn. Step out to the side, lightly tap the toe, working on that balance component in my left leg now. While getting a nice aligned quarter squat in the leg that's working. 11 and 12, nice job. Making sure that the hips go down and back. I'll demonstrate one from the side here. Good, back down to the low plank. Now we're going to tap the toe to the outside. One, one, two, two, about six to 10 inches on either side of the midline of your body. Six, six, seven, seven. Get it, get it. Nine, nine, finish strong. 10, 11, 11. And 12, and 12. Nice shot. So we're gonna focus on ankle, knee, and hip mobility as we step to a side lunge. We're gonna finish all 12 on one side before we move on to 12 on the other side. If you have a dumbbell, you can hold it here, six. You can hold it here, seven. You can hold it here, upright row. You can hold it there with a bicep curl. And 10, and double arm, and 12. One, or that goblet hold right here in the center of your mass. That's probably the heaviest dumbbell that you can carry, other than this one here. Seven. Eight, nine, finish strong, 10, two more, 11, and 12, nice job. We're gonna finish off our round, number one, with a one minute plank. If you don't have a timer, just count your breaths. Count to 20, that's in and out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Eight breaths in. Ten breath in. Halfway there. Very nicely done. So during the exercise, we breathe once every three seconds. So if we want to go for a minute long plank, then divide that by three and we get 20 breaths. As long as if you don't have a timer while you're working out in the park or working out in a hotel room or you're using your phone as I am now and I just don't have a timer, go ahead and start back at the beginning of your drop step lunges for rounds two through four and then come right back here at the very end to do our static stretching. So we're gonna start with a butterfly stretch. Feet together, heels together. Try to mentally push the knees down towards the ground as you stretch the spine up and the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Five deep breaths.
twisting off to the side, come straight into pigeon pose here. Nice tall posture, palms flat on the floor. The closer you can get your foot to your hand, the better. And the further your elbows reach towards the ground or the mat, the better it is for you. Five deep breaths. Three. Four. Five. And then come back to the center and you can switch to the other side. Nice tall posture in the pigeon pose. And then drop the elbows down to the mat. Two more breaths. I feel that deep in my hamstring right now. Probably because my knee is flexed. But the closer I get to 90 degrees on that knee. And here's a, another option. The 90-90 stretch is the front knee at 90 degrees, the back knee at 90 degrees, and fold forward just towards the knee. If you can get your elbows to the mat, that's fine. If you want more stretch in your outer hip, then push the knee down into the ground. You're gonna get a little activation out of that muscle and then relax. And then push the knee down into the ground, just with your mind. And then relax one more time. Push down into the ground. And then switch to the other side. Rear knee at 90, front knee at 90. Fold towards that front knee. Get a good long stretch before we activate. Now push the knee down into the ground. I feel a whole lot of activation there. one more breath and activate push the knee down into the ground very well done now. nice job today everyone I'm very proud of you for your hard work each and every exercise please don't hesitate to reach out reply to today's email um, that's one way to get a hold of me or post in the group chat on whatsapp and until next workout this is Dave in Denver wishing you health and happiness wherever you're at in the world